everybody, Melissa here with Sweet Melissa's Chocolate Chip Cookies. Now this is like the original Sweet Melissa's recipe. I have been working on these cookies my entire life. And it might be because chocolate chip cookies, and I would say specifically about five minutes out of the oven, are my all time favorite food. So this is how I make them. You're gonna start with two sticks of butter, and you're gonna melt that. Look how magical I am. Then using the same bowl, you can lay out eight ounces of brown sugar. So I have in the description below uh, the, a cup's measurement, but I really love using a scale because you are going to be using a lot less utensils, and I hate doing dishes. So to that, you are also going to add in four ounces of white sugar. Now you're going to spend a couple minutes mixing in the sugars with the melted butter until the sugars are both melted into that warm butter and it's really nice and smooth. And you'll see what I mean in just a couple seconds. Feel free to use a stand mixer or a hand mixer for this. I just wanted to show you that it, this recipe is really easy to use even if you don't have any fancy gadgets. Now that the sugars are nicely melted into that butter, you can go ahead and add in the milk. It'll cool the warm butter down a little bit so you're not adding your egg into hot butter. Then you're going to want to add two teaspoons of vanilla, and I actually make my own vanilla extract. It's really easy. You can ask me how. And then you're going to stir that up before you add in your egg, and then go ahead and add in one whole egg. You want to mix all of this really well before you add in any of your dry ingredients. Now add in 12 ounces of flour or 14 ounces if you'd like it a little bit more cakey, but I used 12 in this recipe. And then one teaspoon of baking soda right on top of the flour. And then you're going to want to add in two teaspoons of salt. That's what makes my recipe extra special is it's got a little bit extra salt. To balance all of that sweetness. Now's the best part to add in as many chocolate chips as you want. Feel free to use up to two whole bags of it. I use mini chips, I use the regular size, I use big chunks. You can play around with it and have fun with different kinds of chocolates. Right now I'm just using one bag of mini chips because I also was going to make a couple M&M chocolate chip cookies as well. So then once that's all together, you can start mixing. I like to just add the chocolate chips with the flour, so you're just mixing it around once. And you want to mix it up until all of the flour is incorporated and it's all saturated and gooey and lovely together. I did say you don't need any fancy equipment for this, but I love using these ice cream scoops because you can make really uniform cookies and make them all the same size and then they cook more evenly. But you definitely don't need one of these. You can just use a big spoon or two spoons and have one of them help the dough out of the other one. You're basically just trying to achieve the same size cookies. Now for my M&M cookies, I just take a good ball of dough into my hand and then I just roll it around in some M&M's. It's as simple as that. I love when M&M cookies are also chocolate chip cookies because I love chocolate. It's as simple as that. Just flatten that out a little and put the flatter edge on the tray. I actually really love doing it with the mini M&M's. I think it works even better, but I just didn't have any. So after a couple more cookie dough balls magically appear on your tray, you can stick that into a 375 degree oven, which you can actually preheat at the very beginning because this doesn't take very long. For smaller cookies, bake them for 7 minutes, and for much larger ones, you can go all the way up to 14 minutes depending on how big you made them. You're just looking for a little bit of brown around the edges, and the middle should be a little bit doughy still. And then just let them sit out for 5 to 10 minutes. And then they'll be a beautifully, perfectly chewy chocolate chip cookie. Alright, so I transferred my cookies to 
a towel to cool a little bit, so I like using parchment. And let's go ahead and try it. If I eat one of these M&M ones, my kids will be really sad. And look at this, they're so soft. They're about five minutes out of the oven. They've cooled enough that I can pick it up without burning myself. It's nice and brown on the bottom, light brown. And let's try it. I mean, I've had these about a million times, but they're keeper. They're delicious and they're easy. So go ahead and make it and please show me your pictures or videos and thank you so much.